What's up guys? Matt Bell here with Electric Violin Shop. We are doing our weekly Wednesday live stream. Like my new shirt. Got the 3D Various shirt going on. We are doing our live stream on 3D Various Violins. So that's what I'm playing today. I have the line here by 3D Various. I also have an Equinox by 3D Various right here. Look at there. And uh, we do not have their ultra high end, the 3D Various instrument. Um, we sold the one that we had, and therefore I do not have it here with me. But we do have the, we do have access to those instruments. If you want one, we can get it in for you. Um, I just got back from Bezier, France. Uh, I speak Spanish, not French, so my French pronunciation is terrible. Um, but I went to, uh, flew into Toulouse about two weeks ago, and the wonderful folks at 3D Various picked me up at the airport, brought me back to uh, Bijet, and uh, it's down by the uh, Mediterranean coast, and we hung out for a couple days and spent some time. They were showing me where they do the 3D printing, where they do the, the, uh, the wood manufacturing, and then where they do the assembly of the instruments where they've done all the design work and got to see the, the whole process and how these instruments are put together. Um, they're fantastic. They really, um, Laurent is, is an amazing player and, um, and Geraldine, his partner, is an amazing uh, marketing person and they, uh, they're just totally on top of, uh, of everything that needed to be done. So we're gonna play a couple of the violins for you today. We're gonna answer any questions you might have. Um, we normally do this live stream on YouTube and Facebook, sort of a simulcast. Um, Mark Zuckerberg doesn't have his act together today, so we are not on Facebook at the moment, but we're going to share this on our Facebook page and we'll probably, you know, throw a link or something up on Twitter and maybe a, a link on our Instagram stories or whatever. So uh, it's just you guys, you and me, YouTube folks, we're hanging out today. We're not sharing this mess with anybody. It's just the cool kids on YouTube. So um, the line violin is uh, made out of two, for, two different types of wood and um, this whole thing sort of put together. We're actually gonna put up a video on our YouTube page at some point of a bunch of footage that I shot while I was in France showing how these are made. Um, it's really cool how they do this. It's done with a five head or a five axis CNC machine how this is all cut out of a solid piece of wood. They actually take the two types of wood, uh, beech and sipo, I think, or sipo, however you pronounce that, and they make the laminate out of that, and then they cut that whole thing out with a five-axis CNC machine. Um, got to go to the wood factory where they do this. It's actually a school as well, which is really cool. So they're teaching um, kids how to program these, the robots to do these, and that way this is ultra ultra hey what's up 3d various um so the folks from 3d various are here um and if you guys have questions if i cannot answer your question maybe they can so yeah as i was saying they i got to go to the place where they make the uh the wood cutouts for these instruments and then they have to be hand sanded and then uh all of the the pickups and the electronics are, are installed by hand all that stuff was uh designed by by lawrence so um yeah, good stuff. He's a fantastic jazz violinist as well, and uh, you should definitely check out his work. Um, and we'll make sure there's links to his page and, and his art and stuff up here as well. Um, but the idea being that he was a he was a player and just wanted an instrument that was a little bit different, so he did his first um, 3D printed violin. He's he's also an engineer, so he designs all this stuff. Uh, did his first 3D printed violin, and it's gone through several um, generations and iterations to get to the three different violins that I have now. This is the entry-level instrument. Uh, do I know Lindsay Sterling? Not personally, but uh, we do deal with her quite a bit here at the shop. Uh, really sweet, uh, really sweet girl, uh, and, and has done a lot of really cool stuff. Um, yeah, it is a very cool-looking instrument, right? And it sounds fantastic. Um, they make their own pickups. Uh, this is a five string, which is the proper number of strings on a violin. Um, and so they make their own pickups. Inside this bridge casing is the assembly, and there is a um, piezo for each string, so you get a really nice balanced sound. And uh, again, I played at the beginning, but I'm going to play some more.
Yeah, so that's just the instrument runs straight into a Fisherman Loudbox Artist uh, EQ flat and just a wee hair bit of reverb on there so that um, it makes me happy. Um, I'm actually going to turn that up because louder is better. If a little bit is good, more is better. So, yeah. Saludos, bienvenido. Uh, so we got folks here from France. We got folks here from Mexico, from the U.S. Any advantages with using a carbon fiber bow over a wood bow? Yeah, man. If you go like that with a wood bow, it might break. If you drop your wood bow, it might break. Um, and also with a carbon fiber bow, they are much less bothered by heat and humidity. Um, also, with a carbon fiber bow, you can, you know, if we're talking about low-priced bows, which is anything under a couple thousand dollars, um, you get more bang for your buck with a carbon fiber bow than you do a wood bow. So like a $600 wood bow is probably not going to compete real good with a $600 carbon fiber bow, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, that's what's going on with carbon fiber bows. But uh, yeah, bienvenido Mexico, and uh, thanks for coming. France and everybody. So anyway, this is the the line violin, L-I-N-E, and um, I did wear your Kickstarter t-shirt. Look at that. Uh, you got new tees coming soon. All right. Um, so this is, uh, the the 3D Various has got a great story. It was one of the sort of the, the crowdfunding things um, that they'd come up with this idea, and then they went on Kickstarter and there were some early adopters, and uh, yeah, it's just a great story on how 3D Various got started. But in any case, this uh, instrument, the line instrument, runs, um, the four string is $10.99, and the five string, I do not remember what the price is on, but it's, you know, maybe $11.99 or something like that. So very, very affordable in that $1,000 range, and um, it's a fantastic instrument. It's headless. Headless. It's headless, and uh, the end here, the very top, is 3D printed, as you can see. That's a very cool little piece. And then, like I said, we got the, the two different colors of wood here. We've got the custom pickup, and then there are some brushed aluminum supports here, down to the part that goes on your shoulder. And if you're like me and you're handicapped and you have to use a, a shoulder rest, that's where that goes. Um, the jack is here, volume knob, and then we've got these guitar style tuners so that um, you've got like basically pegs and fine tuners all in one. Very cool. And the weight on these is super, super light, uh, 500 and some grams, really. So just over a pound. It's gonna be in the same weight range as an acoustic violin, but you don't have the scroll out here which is pulling down on you all the time. So this in your hand, on your body actually feels incredibly, incredibly light. Um, so you can play this thing for months on end, months if you needed to, without ever stopping. Maybe somebody just bring you a cheeseburger or something every now and then. Um, That's fun. 
So it's a great sounding instrument, super, super light. It's really pretty, it's really cool. It is, uh, it's got a great manufacturing story and, um, and it's really affordable. So, you know, we're talking around $1,100 or so for, um, for this instrument, five string, which again is the proper number of strings on a violin to all the traditionalists out there. Um, and yeah, so super, super cool instrument. That's the line, L-I-N-E. Now, I'm gonna, I'll be right back. I had to mute the amp because nobody wants a big giant pop when I unplug this thing. And I'm gonna grab the Equinox. Um, if you guys are fans of Daniela Padron, which you should be, um, any advice for someone who's starting out learning violin? Yeah, play a lot. Um, the thing about violin is that um, it's fiendishly difficult to play, like way more difficult than guitar, right, Jamie? <laughs> Our luthier Jamie is standing right here. He's a fantastic guitar player. He's a beginning violinist, um, so he's way better on the guitar than the violin. But um, yeah, the, the violin is a really difficult instrument to play um, with piano or drums or guitar. Within an hour or so, you can be making a sound that's you know an acceptable sound, like nobody's going to throw a rock at you. Um, a violin isn't really like that. Um, it's going to be like a year of somebody sounding like somebody strangling a cat. So the idea is that you're just gonna have to be, uh, what's the word, you're gonna have to persevere. You're gonna have to endeavor to persevere. And, um, and sorry, that's a great movie. Um, yeah. <laughs> endeavor to persevere. So yeah, you're gonna have to persevere and stand in there and uh, just hopefully your neighbors are cool. Um, if you start with an electric violin, the nice thing about an electric is can you hear me now? No, you really can't, and neither can your neighbors. So if you have an electric, you can practice real quiet and maybe you won't get beat up as bad. Um, but yeah, that's, that's what's going on. I would also suggest getting a teacher. Uh, learning how to play the violin is not a supernatural, it's, it is a supernatural thing. It's not a very natural thing to do. And um, chances are, if you're sort of just doing what feels good, it's wrong. And um, there's a chance that you could actually hurt yourself, believe it or not. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. So, okay, somebody, they're answering questions here. How beautiful. Left-handed violin, uh, any recommendations? Thanks. Yeah, the recommendation is to play right-handed. Um, and that sounds really glib. But honestly, throughout history, 99-plus um, percent of left-handed people have played right-handed. Now, if you've got an injury or something, I actually know some people that are missing fingers on one hand, which requires them to have to play left-handed, or if there's some sort of reason, like a really good reason to play left-handed, I guess you can. Um, honestly, it cuts your options on instruments down like dramatically. Like you might have 1% of the options that a person who plays right-handed, and that might be generous. Um, you also will never be able to play in an orchestra because they're simply not, they're not gonna have a dude facing the wrong way, sitting in the orchestra, you're just not gonna get a seat. So um, if it is at all possible to play right-handed, even though you are left-handed, you're pretty much gonna need to do that. Um, from India, wanna buy an electric violin from us? Uh, electricviolinshop.com is the place to go. And when we're done talking here, not now, hang out. But uh, when we're done, we've got a bunch of review videos right here on YouTube that you can check out. Okay, I'm gonna get back to my topic right here. This is the Equinox violin. The five string is $25.99. And um, it's really, really beautiful. So this is made, out, the body is made out of ash. And then the, the bouts are 3D printed. And the bottom piece here is 3D printed. Uh, we still got the brushed aluminum supports here. Still got the guitar tuners. We do have a, uh, a different pickup. It's a similar design, but a little bit different. So let's listen to that.
so um, I think uh, this is going to be a little bit of a, I, I guess you guys can hear the difference for yourself and try to come up with your own words. It's a little stronger sound, um, and I think a little more um, crispy, maybe, is the word I'm looking for. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a higher end sound. So it should be the instrument's about twice the price as the other one. Um, so you would expect a difference in sound. And to me, I, I really like, man, I really like the look of both of these instruments, honestly, but for two different reasons. Um, same thing, the, the, the chin rest uh, is integral to the instrument. Um, you can use whatever shoulder rest you want. It's a pretty similar, like, shape on a lot of this. Um, colors are obviously different. And then the pickup on the Equinox is a, is a higher quality pickup. And um, man, I really like this instrument. If you don't follow Daniela Pedron, you should follow Daniela. She is an ambassador for 3D Various. She's a really good friend of mine out of Miami. Her project is called Bach de Venezuela. And she takes a lot of traditional Bach music and then marries that with, I mean, traditional Bach. Is there any other kind? So she plays, she plays Bach, like straight ahead Bach. And then she's from Venezuela. So she blends it with like the Venezuelan cumbia rhythms and the Venezuelan instrumentation. So there's a cuatro and there's the, the, the percussion instruments and all that. So she has orchestrated um, the accompaniment to all these, these Bach tunes with traditional Venezuelan instruments and rhythms. And, uh, and it's amazing and incredible. And we did an interview with her as, far, as part of our podcast, the Rockstar Violinist Podcast. Uh, maybe a year or so ago, and uh, and since then, Daniela has become a 3D Various uh, ambassador, and she plays all over the world on her 3D Various violin, um, and it's uh, it's really cool and fun, and she's awesome. So. Um, <laughs> Again, super lightweight. All the weight is back here, so it's over your shoulder. It's super, super light in the hand. You have all your reference points. Uh, the thumb stop is here. You've got a bout on both sides to feel. The thumb stop's on the end. So I know it looks um, very, very different from a traditional acoustic violin, but it actually plays very similar um, to an acoustic. The Matus violin. The only Matus violin I have right now is a prototype, and um, so no, I cannot test that right now. And it, it's actually at my house, not here. Um, but yeah, we, once, we, uh, once we sort of smooth everything out on that and get that laid out, we will definitely test one of those for you as well. Um, so yeah, the two 3D various violins that we have in the shop right now are uh, the Equinox and the Line. Do they deliver these to Europe? Yes, we can ship these to Europe. It's not a problem. Um, and uh, yeah, so you can buy these on our website, electricviolinshop.com. That was cool how I did that. I didn't plan that. Um, and we can ship to Europe. Awesome. Um, so we are going to, because we weren't able to live stream on Facebook because of the, uh, the problems that Facebook is having today. If you guys are watching this in the future, you're like, what the heck is he talking about? Uh, today's July 3rd. 2019. Trevor Dick, what's going on, man? Um, I know what's going on. It's July 3rd, 2019, and I guess they decided that we didn't need to be on Facebook today. We needed to be out enjoying this beautiful 100 degree weather in Durham. Um, that's like 38 or 39 degrees C for you guys overseas. Um, it's hot. And um, 
So Facebook decided that uh, you guys get your noses out of your phone and go outside and enjoy this beautiful weather. So they decided Facebook and Instagram and WhatsApp all at the same time decided to. So um, yeah, we're on YouTube and we'll just share this across to Facebook. Uh, we do generally uh, do our live streams on Facebook and YouTube. Um, but yeah, so I will play this a minute more and then I'm gonna switch back to the line. And um, yeah, the other thing I do wanna say, yeah, while I'm here, um, there is a Facebook group, when Facebook starts working again, there's a Facebook group called the Electric String Players Group. And I think my next live stream, I'm actually just gonna go take a bunch of questions off of the ESP group and answer them here for you guys. Um, the Electric String Players Forum on Facebook is an incredible resource. There are a bunch of really, really knowledgeable players. Trevor's one. Um, it's, he, he's the administrator of the group. He's a, an awesome gospel violinist out of Toronto, Canada, or uh, parts just outside Toronto, maybe. And um, and he has really done a great job of putting this group together. What are we, We're over 3,000 members now, I think. Um, and so... Yeah, Trevor, man, you need to come hang out down here in Durham sometime, man. Just call me up. You can come stay at my house, and uh, we're, we're going to come in here and play a bunch of these things. Trevor does an amazing number of videos on his own from there in Canada, in frozen Canadian wasteland, which probably feels really good versus Durham today. Um, but, uh, yeah, Trevor does some great playing, does a bunch of great videos. Please follow him on YouTube. Follow him on Facebook and join the Electric String Players Forum. So many knowledgeable people on there. Um, and then a few other ones. That's cool. <laughs> um, so, yeah, so many knowledgeable people on there and lots and lots of questions. Uh, newbies are welcome. Don't don't come in and be like, oh, I'm afraid i got to be a pro player to ask a question. No, 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 no. There's a bunch of pro player there who can answer your, your newbie questions. If you're just getting started playing the violin, if you're just getting started on electric, um, yeah, it's a great place to ask questions and uh, the answers will be varied. There's no question that the answers will be varied, uh, but our experiences are varied. And um, I think everybody's just gonna be really supportive and helpful. There's, there's, it's really a, a, an awesome community. So please join that if you have not already. And, uh, and I don't remember what, some, somebody had asked a question and I missed it as it went by. Um, so anyway, I'm going to play this a little more and I'm going to play the line again and you guys can hear the difference. <laughs> That's the Equinox. I'm gonna go mute. Woo -hoo. I'm gonna mute, switch over. I'm gonna demute and turn this back on. All right. <laughs> higher. Maybe I just played higher. Sorry. So, uh, yeah, I think the, uh, the Equinox is a little stronger signal, a little brighter, a little, uh, crisp, uh, a little crisper. But this is uh, still a fantastic sound of violin. Um, again, in the slightly over $1,000 tier, the Equinox is in the mid $2,000 range. They both feel great, they sound great, they look great. Um, and we're excited to have these for you guys. So um, the 3D Various folks in France are super, super awesome. They're great at questions that you have. Oh, I almost forgot. One of the fun things about the Equinox is that because this piece is 3D printed, 
and this one. But if because this piece is 3D printed, if you decide, see, it's got words on it. Um, yeah, they're in French, and I don't speak French. There's a lot of French words. And if you decide that you want different words to be on here, uh, they can actually custom make a bow for you here. It can have like grandma's brownie recipe or something on there if you want. If you're just thinking, gosh, I really like grandma's brownies and I cannot remember um, how she made those, you could have it put on your violin and you know, it's the definition of harmony in French. Well, there you go. Melody, harmony, and uh, I can like read the letters, but I can't pronounce any of this um, because I'm not educated. But anyway, it's a, it's a really, really beautiful instrument. So let's see. You guys can see all that, right? You have to look at my ugly mug behind it. Watch this. So yes, they can put any writing on here that you want if you want yours to be personalized. And right here, it says 3D Veris. How cool. Um, and then this piece down here is also... Um, uh, 3d printed and it's not and I, when I say 3d printed I don't want you to be thinking about like the 3d printer that you can buy office max for uh, $300 and 99 cents Not at all. This is a super 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 high dollar um, 3d printer in um, That is the industrial kind uh, They can actually print an entire violin all in one piece uh, their high-end instrument is roughly this shape, and, and it's exactly this size. Um, and it is all printed in one piece, and then um, when it comes out of the printer, it is all hand-sanded and hand-cleaned up, and it's, um, it's a really, really fantastic piece of art. And uh, if you are an art appreciator, and, and it's an amazing piece of engineering too, because um, as the, the resin has to be able to support like 100 pounds of tension. When you put, you know, five strings on this thing and you tune it up, you've got roughly 100 pounds of tension trying to pull this thing together. And um, just just any design isn't gonna withstand that pressure and it's not gonna withstand like abusive playing. And you put it in the hands of people like me that are You know, we're beating on this thing, um, or, you know, we're chopping on it. Um, you start hammering on these things, and if it's, if the, uh, if the polymer isn't, like, designed properly with all the brace, internal bracing, uh, it's going to explode. So uh, somebody did ask the question, the line instrument, this one, is uh, in the neighborhood of $1,000, just above $1,000. Um, and then this one, the Equinox, is around $2,500, $2,599, I think is our price on this right now. And then the full 3D printed instrument is $6,299 for the five string. Um, and that one you can order through us if you'd like to do that. Um, so... Uh, what else was I going to say? I don't know. I forgot. People were asking questions. Um, so, yeah, that's that's the beautiful, uh, the 3D various instruments. The the line, the Equinox, and the full 3D various. Daniela, we were just talking about you. So good to see you here. So, Daniela is here. She's about to become a mom any minute. Um, and... Uh, so one of my favorite, favorite people, I love her project. Please, please, please go check out Daniela and the Bach de Venezuela project. Um, she plays the 3D Various Equinox. Hers looks a whole lot like this. I think hers has some Spanish writing on it, which I would be a lot better at reading. Um, but yeah, just super beautiful instruments and um, really comfortable to play. Um, I know one thing that might make people a little nervous about a built-in chin rest that you can't change this chin rest uh, unless you have a saw. Um, it's not like you can just take it off and put another one on. Um, but I generally play a Viper, so it doesn't have a, sh a chin rest on it. So I'm not really a big chin rest guy. But uh, this one feels great. Feels good. Fits right under uh, my chin. Didn't leave no marks, I don't think. No marks. Maybe that one's from a, from a fight I got into or something. Um, but yeah, it feels good. It's a super, super lightweight, really fast instrument. Um, 
and I like it much very really lot. It's really pretty. It is comfortable. See, Danielle, she'll tell you, and um, and it's pretty, and it fits in a regular violin case, which is a cool thing too. Um, so, gosh, any questions? If there are any more questions, um, we can try to answer those. Daniela can answer those. The three D various folks in France can answer those, and uh, we're just oh yeah, somebody asked about Cecilio. Um, Oh, how do I say this nicely? I'm gonna go with a big fat no on that. Is it a good beginner violin? No, I don't. I don't feel like it is. And here's here's why. Um, it just it just costs a certain amount of money to make a quality instrument, one that is going to be reliable and it's going to be playable. The thing about a violin is, and the 3D various folks can tell you, the dimensions are so critically important. Like, Tenths of millimeters really matter on a violin. If something is, the curvature is off by a couple of degrees, or we've got a string that's just, you know, a, a millimeter too high, that makes a huge difference. Weight distribution, quality of electronics, all of these things are just vitally important to an instrument that, that feels good, plays good, sounds good, is reliable. When you get below about 600 bucks, honestly, even like a mega corporation like Yamaha, who has eons of experience in mass producing quality instruments at a very affordable price, even Yamaha is not able to make a violin below about 600 bucks. That's worth playing. So um, the Cecilio violins and a bunch of the other sort of factory mass produced objects that are more or less shaped like a violin um they just they just they're not they don't work um they they feel bad they sound bad they um they break super frequently um so uh unfortunately and and i understand budgets i'm a musician i live on a budget too um uh oh acoustics i don't know crap about acoustic violins um oh acoustic electric um, yeah, I, honestly, personally, I would pass on the Sicilian. Um, uh, you can look at our website for a list of, uh, acoustic electric violins. It's not something I'm really prepared to pull out a bunch of today. I don't have any handy and tuned up, um, but that's something we can talk about on a future live stream. Um, so yeah, somebody asked twenty five ninety nine. Yes, this violin right here, this five string is, uh, $25.99. And uh, this is fantastic. Great instrument at this price. And I don't know off the top of my head what the price is on the four string. I don't really play a lot of four string violins. We, we can carry them. We can carry the four string and five string Equinox. We can get the four and five string line. And we can get the four and five string full 3D various instrument. So um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do. Please check our website, electricviolinshop.com. All right. So, um, yeah, thank you, Geraldine and, and uh, Laurent for, for joining us and Daniela for joining us. And if you guys have questions, please dump those in the comments section or you can send us an email, info at electricviolinshop.com or um, however you want to reach us. You can send a telegram, I think, maybe. Um, you can reach us on our, you can call us. Our, our telephone number's on our website. Uh, all the social medias, the uh, all that kind of stuff. Oh, thank you, man. Awesome. Yeah, thanks for uh, coming and hanging out. And those of you that are in Canada, I hope you had a great Canada Day the other day. Those of you that are in the U.S., uh, tomorrow is the 4th of July, Independence Day. And uh, those of you who are in England, it's from you. So, uh, no, we like you guys now, even though uh, our women just had to beat your women in soccer. Sorry, it's what we do. And um, yeah, awesome. Uh, yeah, I'm glad the U.S. women are good at soccer because the men are not. Um, do we ship to the U.S.? Uh, we're in the U.S. We're in Durham, North Carolina. If you couldn't tell by my accent, we are south of the Mason-Dixon line. And uh, we ship all through the lower 48 states um, for free. Uh, Alaska and Hawaii are more. 
Um, and then we do ship to 91 countries around the world. So uh, almost anywhere you live, uh, we can get an instrument to you. So we are your, your happy neighborhood electric violin shop that may not be in your neighborhood, but it doesn't matter because we can still ship them to you. Um, yeah, those of you that aren't rooting for the U.S. Uh, women's national team, sorry, but they're, uh, they're crushing it out there. They're doing a great job. We're rooting for them here. And uh, yeah, I guess we will see you guys. I'm actually going to be out of town. I'm going to be at the Mark Wood Rock Orchestra Camp next week in Olathe, Kansas. Uh, probably be doing a lot of um, uh, social media updates from the Mark Wood Camp. Mark Wood's going to be there. Joe Denizan's going to be there. Uh, Val Vigoda, Chuck Bontrager, Hayden Vitera. Uh, Raz is going to be there. Alex Depew is going to be there. Tracy Silverman is going to be there. Um, Rachel Barton Pine is going to be there. Uh, just the most mind-blowing, amazing players. Dr. Wallace from Berkeley is going to be there. Um, who else? Greg Byers, a cellist who's a good friend of ours. So many of these people have been on our Rockstar Violin podcast. Um, and a few more of them are coming. Oh, the Rockstar Violinist podcast, by the way. Um, if you guys have not listened to that, please do. You can find it on iTunes, Stitcher. You can find it on Google Play. It's on soundcloud.com slash rockstarviolinist, if that's how you roll. Um, but so many amazing players have been on there, and we just talk about life and art and music and violins and gear and whatnot. Sometimes we talk about whatnot. Um, but I've got a couple of people on my docket, and I'm not going to tell you who just yet. But... Um, one of these is like the OG of electric violin playing, so you guys can guess away on that. Um, and he has agreed to do an interview. And then another one is a huge, huge name in country violin. Um, and I'm going to be fangirling the whole time I sit next to him for an interview, hopefully bumping into him in Nashville next week, uh, two weeks. I'll be in Kansas next week. I'll be in Nashville the week after that. Um, and, uh, and then I have another friend who is a huge star. She's actually in Nashville. She's an American, but she has been playing with a huge star, a huge Bollywood star in India. And uh, she's playing for soccer stadiums. You know, 50, 60, 80, 100,000 people they're playing for. Um, I'll be fangirling when I get to interview her too. So uh, we got some really cool interviews coming up for you guys. Some huge, huge names in the electric violin and violin business. Um, so, yeah, I think we're close to episode 40 or something now. Um, so please go back and listen to those interviews. They're amazing. And then there's a bunch more really cool interviews coming. Um, really a very charmed life, getting to hang out with all these cool people. So I will not be here the next two weeks. And then after that, I will. And uh, if you guys have ideas for things that you would like to see a live stream on, you can put those in the comments and uh, or you can shoot us a note or whatever, and we will try to get to those. So, I guess in, what, three weeks? In three weeks, I'll be back. You guys wait right by your phones. Just sit next to your phone like this. I'll be back in three weeks, okay? All right, thanks, guys. See you next time.